Um, what I'd like to do first is introduce my colleague, Stella Wisdom, who's a digital creator at the British Library. She's going to be talking about an annual competition that she organizes, which tries to engage uh, computer games developers, especially um, undergraduate computer games developers in, in the UK, to do really creative things with our digital collections and what we call asset packs, so uh, multimedia, uh, video, sa um, sound, images, text. Um, every year, Pretty much every year, the, um, the competition is themed to an exhibition, and this year's competition was called Shakespeare Off the Map. And uh, Stella's going to talk about that and some of the entries, and also announce the, the winner for this year. Over to Stella. Right. Thanks, Mahendra. Um, so... I just wanted to say, first of all, that this is in partnership. So Off the Map is in partnership with the National Video Game Arcade. Um, and before that, they used to be a festival, and the festival's called Game City. So if I mention Game City and National Video Game Arcade, they are the, sort of the same organisation. It's just that they've now got their own building, which is in Nottingham, and you can go, go there and play lots of games. So, off the map. Um, as Mahendra says, we've been doing this for a number of years now. I'm just going to do a little bit on the history. So, if, if there are people in the room who I don't know and I haven't bored with talking about the competition, here's just a little bit of, of kind of what it's about. So, for the library, it was a new type of collaboration. It was collaborating with partners that are kind of non-traditional BL partners. Um, and it was exploring how we could share our digital collections and digital content with new audiences and trying to encourage reuse and especially creative reuse and also it's an opportunity for students in the UK to showcase their talent. So you may have heard of Pudding Lane, Pudding Lane promotions, yeah? So I'm not going to show the video but this is a still from that. So this really all started actually with, with Pudding Lane and in the first year of the competition in 2012 um, when, when we launched this we provided content such as this, this view here. I work with Tom Harper in maps and this map here from the Crace Collection, one of the themes we picked was um, the City of London before the Great Fire, and the students made this. Um, and it got quite a lot of press, actually, much more press than I ever imagined. And in fact, even just recently, I, um, colleagues have been telling me it was on it was on the London Breakfast News the other day um, because of the anniversary of the Great Fire. So even though this is a couple of years old now, it still gets some circulation in, in the press. Um, so I was allowed to run the competition again. So this originally, it had been like a one-off, um, but because of the success of Pudding, Pudding Lane, we decided to run it annually. We had a Gothic competition in 2014. Um, students from South Wales made a game for the Oculus Rift VR. Um, there's a still from it there. I'm going to go through these really quickly so I can get on to this year's. And then last year with the Alice in Wonderland anniversary, we had a really wonderful game that you could actually play in the Alice in Wonderland exhibition that we had on here in the library. So for this year, it's all been about Shakespeare. It's been 400 years since the death of William Shakespeare, so everyone's been using hashtag Shakespeare 400. Here in the library, we've had an exhibition, Shakespeare in 10 Acts, which you might have come along to. Really exciting stuff. And we also did Off the Map on Shakespeare as well. And I picked three themes. We picked castles um, with the connections of murder and ghosts, and especially linking into Hamlet and Macbeth. We picked The Tempest, and we picked forests, woodlands, and A Midsummer Night's Dream. So this is just, um, we provide asset packs um, in, in the games industry. They, they refer to different terminology than what we normally use in the library. So we, we try to use some of their words. So, so I'm just going to show you a few examples of what we put in the asset packs. We've got this wonderful, wonderful hand-painted, watercoloured um, illustration of Kronberg Castle in Denmark. Um, and, and Shakespeare, I'm not saying he would have looked at this exact, um, map of this castle, but, but these are places that were around in his time and would have influenced um, his, the settings for his plays. Um, so, so there is a place in Denmark called Helsingor, and, and we think that um, Shakespeare would have known that, and, and therefore the Hamlet's castle in Elsinore would be based on that. The Tempest, so this is the illustration um, in an early printed volume of The Tempest. You can see the devils in the skies, um, 
quite exciting. So the devils are, are wrecking the ship onto the island. Um, and we also included maps of Bermuda because in 1609 um, there was a famous um, shipwreck um, of a ship called the Sea Adventure. Um, and, and so this was, this was featured in the news at the time. Shakespeare would m definitely have probably have known about this. And at the time, they used to think that devils wrecked the ship. So as you can see with the illustration from The Tempest, and then looking at this map, um, probably influenced by real life events at the time. Um, and then a more playful theme, if, 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 if the students didn't want to make a game um, with like death and destruction and shipwrecks, we thought that um, A Midsummer Night's Dream with um, fairies and woodlands and, and love and magic would be a good theme. So this is a nice illustration from a 19th century um, children's book um, about Midsummer Night's Dream. Shouldn't forget the sounds as well. My, my awesome colleague, Cheryl Tip in the sound archive here in the library, um, each year she curates some sounds that the students can use um, and, and we put them up on SoundCloud. So you can, you can go and listen to those um, playlists on SoundCloud. So this year's winning place is, used The Tempest and their tw team Quattro from De Montfort University in Leicester. This is a still from their game. It's very clever, but I'm not gonna talk too much. I'm gonna show you a video. In fact, let me just show you. So here they are here. Sadly, they're not with us here today, um, but we did. We had um, a party for the Off the Map winners at Game City Festival, which was just two weeks ago. Um, so I know some people in the room were, were there at the party. Um, you can see from the smiles on their faces, they really didn't know that they'd won. Um, so they were just really, really delighted. And they've made this video of their game that I can show you. So if we can, if we can go to that. So you actually start on, on a stage in with the props and then you go behind a door in the stage and you're into the island. I should also mention that there's um, second and third place winners as well, so I hope you enjoyed looking at the Tempest game. It's really amazing. Um, but for second place, it was a game by, called Midsummer by Tom Batty, and I don't have a video of this to show you, but this is a still from it. It's a very different sort of game. You walk through a forest, and the forest, um, as you walk through, it, it appears where you walk, and then when you walk away, it vanishes again, and you come across um, characters from the play, and you can either choose to bewitch them so they fall in love with each other or you can reverse the spell so they fall out of love um, and depending depending on which status you set them they have different dialogue with each other and this was a really kind of novel novel way of doing this also what I liked about this game so I should point out I'm not a judge we do have a judging panel um, some, some of my colleagues from here but also external judges um, but with this game you could play it in modern day English or you could play it in in 
Shakespeare's English as well. So it was very playful um, thinking of language and typography. And that was Tom Batty from the London College of Communication. And I have put links in the slides, and I've also put my slides up on SlideShare. So if you are interested in these games, um, there are some links that you can follow up on. And there's Tom with myself and Cheryl wearing the check dress. And the lady in the orange shirt, that's Abigail Parry. She has been poet in residence at the National Video Game Arcade, and she was one of the judges. So I've just put in a few photos from the event. Third place um, was a text adventure game also set on the Tempest, and it's called This Most Desolate Isle. Um, and this was by Alan Stewart from Brunel University. And again, you can see um, a very smiling Alan um, standing there for a photo with myself and Abby and Cheryl. Um, the games aren't available online um, to play at the moment, but I am trying to encourage the students to put them up online. So as and when that happens, I will blog about it on the library's digital scholarship blog, um, and I'm hoping to be able to do that soon. Just thought I should have a quick mention because um, the new competition for next year's entries um, will be opening very, very soon. Um, you may have gone into the main building at the moment. We've got an amazing exhibition on called um, Victorian Entertainments. There will be fun. So linked into this, we're having There Will Be Fun Off The Map as the next competition. Um, and the three themes are going to be illusions, magic and impersonators. Um, outdoor places of entertainment, so thinking fairgrounds, travelling shows, um, circuses, pleasure gardens. Um, and then indoor places of entertainment so thinking music hall pantomime theatres and so if if you work in any departments where you you where you teach video game design or even um could be creative writing departments so so alan stewart who won third place entry this year he's actually an english student and he used um, a free online platform called twine he's got no coding background at all and he managed to create a really really cool um interactive fiction entry so if you are inspired by what i've shown you and you're either a student in full-time education or you teach students then please do promote off the map to them and that's me thank you, thank you.